Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Ryan McDougall and today I'm going to show you how to make fake volumetric fog. So, um, here <laughs> I already actually recorded how to make it, but I used the run file format. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys a better example of the fog. This is just a quick one I made. So, I'm going to enable my fog that I'm actually using for my current game I'm making. <clears throat> so this is how the fog looks. And it's throughout the entirety of my map. And it's actually not using up too much um let's see like processing power. Uh, I've made it very sparse and the image big or big enough to look like it's covering a large area. So this is what the fog looks like. I'm gonna show you guys how I've achieved this in a very quick few steps. So let's go to our scene. And let's get rid of this. So, um, for this, we will create an empty game object. We can name it anything you want. So, parent of fog. There we go. And inside of it, we will go to effects, particle system, and boom, we have our particle system. We're going to first want to have some sort of fog image, so like a PNG. You can easily grab one off of Google. Um, most of them are usually good, as long as it's a PNG it should work. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually create the material inside of the game, uh, inside of, sorry, Unity. But I'm so bad at commentary. Um, so you just go, go and make a material. And at the top, where it says shader, you actually just click on particles, standard unlit, and boom, you, you just put your smoke image in there, and you can use that straight in your particle system. To put that into your particle system, it is just renderer, you just click and drag, or you type up the name of it, and you just have it there. And for renderer, that's all you have to do. So, and the next part is, um, we want to change its start speed to 0 0.12 and look we've got a bunch of dense fog popping in and out so we're going to change this into a nice shape from cone to box in the shape tab we're going to keep it as volume and we're going to have it scale between 10 and 10 for now let's rotate that by 90 degrees there we go Oh, my bad. We have smoke. <laughs> so it's not going to look like this yet. Um, sorry, it's not going to look like this the whole time. My bad. Um, so we want the popping to go away. But before we want the popping to go away, we want it to be a nice size as well. So actually, before we do that, let's, let's give it a nice size. So we go to start size. We go a random between two constants, which you can get by pressing the drop arrow here. Let's choose between 6 and 12. We want it to be nice and big, um, and that's because um, we want it to cover a good part of the map without using too many particles. So let's change this to around about 7 for now. We're emitting in the emission tab, actually 7. And we already have our shape, so we want them to be in a random direction. So you just press one here, and that will put them in a random direction of one. So they're all going to be popping in their own little directions, um, their rotations. And then you just go to Color Over Lifetime, the tab here. You just go here, you create a little middle section by clicking at the top here. Go to the far left of the top left one, and then the top right one. You just turn the alpha down, and that's how you get rid of the popping. So now we have fog spawning in nice and randomly. So that fog's a bit dense, and we don't want it to be that dense. Not unless you're like, want it to look like that, then that's all good. And it's also very static. So we're going to fix the staticness of this dense fog. So we go to the rotation over lifetime tab here. And then we just do it between two constants. Let's do a minus 10 and then a number 10 here. And now we have random fog rotating in their own way. Um, nice and randomly, I guess. 
<clears throat> so you then just go over to uh, where is I'm looking for um oh yes we're going to change how dense it is so we go random between two colors in the start color section at the top here put the top one to a nice low alpha of maybe nine and this is fully customizable for you guys and then the bottom one we just put the alpha down to maybe like 78 so it's nice and visible for this video and in terms of making fog that is pretty much it that is the whole tutorial for just making fog i'll even show you the example in game so i'm going to do a little customization just put my set to 100 so it covers the whole road and i'm going to put my emission rate up to a nice solid 25 so it's nice and dense for this road that is how i've created my fog for this game and there you go we have fog and that's how you make fake volumetric fog so i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope this was nice and educational and it wasn't too hard to follow and um if you have any questions in the comment section ask below and i will answer to everyone that i can get to if not i will do like a general just comment of everything that i've been asked and then just try and answer everything i can so i hope everyone's enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time